good morning and happy Tuesday. Sorry about the crazy lighting, but um, I'm currently stood in my downstairs toilet under the light, so sorry about it. Um, but really, I just wanted to kind of come on and say, because I've had the whole weekend off, I haven't really vlogged it, sorry about it, but I just needed some time to chillax, if I'm honest. Anyway, is anyone else obsessed with cleaning their house? Is, is it just me now, or, or no? No, um, because I picked up the whole range of Fabulosa stuff and um, I've become a little bit obsessed, a little bit obsessed with like cleaning. I've got somebody coming over, <laughs> so I know, I know, don't stop, um, part of my support bubble. So I don't want to go into too much detail because it's early days, but I'm seeing someone at the moment so um that's all i'm gonna say about that so he's gonna come over he's got work at five um well, you know so yeah he's gonna come over but we're in a support bubble we're both two um you know single households so we're actually allowed to socialize inside we're gonna get on about it but we're gonna make cookies today because why not test your fledging relationship by making cookies together because well, that's what happens. Anyway, I'm going to clean the rest of this because my OCD is killing me right now. Only I could get hair dye on my taps. Like, what the heck? What the actual heck? Oh, I thought I'd been so good as well. I won't even... Oh, look, look. I wouldn't even mind, but I dyed my hair upstairs in the bathroom. So how the heck that's gotten there, I have no idea. Oh, my life. Good afternoon, welcome back. So, cookie making time, you guys. This is gonna be hilariously fun. I've had to put my hair up so it doesn't go everywhere. Yay. Um, got all the ingredients. And I have a helper in the background that I told you about, but you know, I'm not going to show you because he's gonna be surprised. So, yeah, that's just how I live my life. Anyway, not too sure what we're doing. Apparently it only takes 10 minutes to cook these cookies, but I think they're lying. So, great. Um, yeah, wish me luck, pray for my soul. As we all know, strife of life, which is Hannah's life. So, let's get to it, kids. Oh. Welcome back to Hannah Does Baking. So, uh, my scales aren't working. Great, so we're just gonna wing this. Um, if you die, it's not my fault, just saying. So, why aren't you working? I'm just pleading with it right now. <laughs> also, sorry about the dodgy camera angle, but you are in my glass cupboard at the moment because I've got nowhere to put you, so. Yay for that. Anyway, for this recipe, we're gonna need butter. Good old butter. Just, look, everything came from co-op, don't judge me. Um, <laughs> light brown sugar, apparently. Plain flour, I mean, this is quite a lot, but plain flour. Bicarbonate of soda, which, if you're like me, I use this for cleaning, so always keep this in, so it's good. Some table salt. Even though the butter is salted. Even though the butter is salted. That's my mystical voice in the background. Um, an egg, because, you know, eggs. And dark chocolate chips, because who doesn't like dark chocolate chips? Oh, thank you, my lovely assistant has also reminded me we've got Mag Madagascan vanilla extract. So, like I say, we can't measure anything. I knew I shouldn't have bought electronic. I knew I should have got an analogue, but strife. Told you, strife is my thing, so it's fine. I'm just gonna keep beating it until it decides it's actually gonna work. That would be great. I have a feeling it's because I tested it at home and then I put it in the box and moved like five million years later. So I think that's actually what's gone on. Oh, strife. And I don't have another button battery either. Right, so kiddos, let's try and figure out how to do this. So step one got my handy phone. Step one is heating the oven, not going to do that because I take too long. So put 150 grams of softened salted butter, 80 grams of light brown muscovado sugar, well that'll do, um, and 80 grams of granulated sugar into a bowl and beat until creamy. So yes, how are we going to do this? Um, well this is a 250 block, so I'm thinking half of it is 125, so then I've just got to figure out 25 more. Normally, they put it on the packaging, but no, not co-op, not co-op at all. Normally, they've got the little striations of where you should cut it. That would be handy. That would be handy, wouldn't it? So, it's all right, he just puts it up with me. That's, you know, nothing more you can do, really. Oh, 
hole in my butter. Uh, but it's alright, we're just guessing that this is the amount. My beautiful glamorous assistant uh, shook out what he thought was 80 grams of each, so good luck to us. And I'm gonna hand the camera off to him while I beat this. So, oh god. Right, now what you want to do is nothing like what I'm doing. So, <laughs> good luck. You've got to beat it till it's creamy. Oh, I think I've probably overdone the butter a little bit. But that's okay. I'm just going to pretend <laughs> like everything in life that it's fine. <laughs> oh, my mental health right now. Make it more moist. Moister. More Be moist. Beautiful word, moister. Now, now, now you know why. Uh, why I enjoy your company. You have to put an 18 certificate on this video now. <laughs> Not for children. <laughs> We're going to pretend that that's okay for now. Oh, because I'm knackered. Um, <laughs> rude. Right, so now I've got to beat in two teaspoons of vanilla extract and one large egg. Right. That and large eggs. I've got medium eggs, so. Two eggs. This is going well. Um, a teaspoon extract. Oh, obviously you broke the seal, yeah, obviously you see I just sniffed it, yeah. Oh, I've got no arms. <laughs> oh, Madagascar vanilla as well. You were treating us today, weren't you? Oh, oh liquid gold. That came out a bit quick. Good, right, shake all that goodness in there. really thick, it's almost like, um, hey, uh, it's almost like, oh, what's it called, golden syrup. Do you want to lick my spoon? No? I'm just going to pick oh. this up for you oh, so you don't you. fall over. Yeah. Oh, yes. Many times in my life I've been tripped by a cap. I um, bet. Thing. I'm going to quickly shove this in the sink. Great, 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 great. Good times, good times. I reckon this should only be 15 minutes of prep time, but lies. So now we've got to get the largest egg that I own, which I would do too. You reckon? Would it make it too like weird though? Or no? No, would not. Oh, if we ruin everything. <laughs> I used to be able to crack eggs with one hand, but like, you know, but I can't now. I lost my egg cracking ability. I used to actually do it with. Uh, or have I? Oh no, I lost it! <laughs> uh, I used to do it with nails on actually, I used to play quite a lot with mine with nails on. Should we try and do this one? Oh god. You've got to get it more or less, you know, and then just pull it apart. Really? Sure! It's my channel, I can do what I like. I'll go and rinse my eggy hand. Because, you know, no one wants an eggy hand. So, good times. Because salmonella is not fun, children. Right, okay. So, I've now got to beat all this in. Oh, and I've got to 
sift it and I don't have a sifty. Yeah. Let's leave it here for now. I'll get back to you. Oh. Why would you do a quarter tablespoon? Oh. <laughs> this is going to be in the bloopers! <laughs> oh, apart from the chocolate chips. Right, we've kind of made it, ish. This one is a clever noodle and he uh, discovered that my measuring cups actually do grams. You can like convert it into grams because yeah, I know I'm probably slow about this guys, but you know. No, to be fair, I didn't know. And so if a good tip is one milliliter apparently is equivalent to one gram. So if you've got milliliter measuring cups, then you can use it for grams as well. Yeah, great. And also I do have measuring spoons, which I completely forgot about until like five seconds ago. So that's good. Um, the recipe also calls for 200 grams of chocolate chips. And I didn't realise that Lidl's chocolate chips only come in 100 grams. So it's lucky that I picked up dark and milk. So we're just going to shove both of them in, really, just to make sure that we've got proper chocky chippiness going on. And then I got some cookie cutters from Killstar. So I got ones that have got like Eat Me with a Crystal Ball, Crystals and a Spell Book. So we might do that or we might just do normal cookies. What do you reckon? Normal cookies? It's up to you. You're the, you're the chef. Oh, I'm really not. My goodness. How we've got this far, I have no idea. But you know. It's all trial and error, guys, isn't it? Very I'm well excited. Just gonna move that. Hang on. Oops, that paperwork shouldn't have been out, but okay. I might have to edit that out. Oh, who don't like chocolate chips, Lyra? People allergic to chocolate. Mm, is anyone allergic to chocolate? There must be someone in the world. No. Feels very sorry for them. No, no, that's not good. Yeah. I'm going to have to edit most of this because we were just being naughty. Um, but anyway, I think I think the fella's like, ball technique is amazing. It's terrible. It's but really good. No, it's meant to make 30 cookies, but we've decided we're going to be really selfish and not and just make lots of big, chunky cookies for ourselves. Because after all, if that's not what baking is all about, I don't know what is. I like your sp spoon action. Yeah. Doing this because I don't like getting my hands dirty, so... No, but technically the recipe did say to use two teaspoons. It didn't say roll it between your palms. That is true. So, you know... It's, the recipe was made by someone that's the I've same cleaned as me. A bit as well. That's true. That is probably true. We're going to start referring to you as Mr. X. <laughs> the mysterious Mr. X. In Nana's lobs. As I explained to you all earlier, just in case there are in any doubt, we are in a support bubble, so it's fine that we're indoors together right now. It's not illegal, so it's fine. Because I know I'm going to get comments of it being like, oh, it's locked down, why? I greased the tray though, and I showed him a whole new way of uh, greasing trays. So, oh, <laughs> it's like the Matterhorn. Wow. Well, Good, good idea, greasing the tray without getting your hands dirty again. Mm -hmm. Use a cloth. Well, not a cloth. Pa Use... Paper cloth. Paper towel. <laughs> That's just a posh way of saying it, kids, you know. <laughs> Very high brow me. Oh, dying. <laughs> this is why I don't date human beings. <laughs> Love it really. Anyway, we've preheated. Well, we've we've preheated the oven. It is ready. Um, it's just that we're taking our time being awesome baking chefs. I don't know. What are we bakers? Maybe are we bakers now? I feel like that's legit. I feel like we could be bakers. We could have cooked a chicken in the time that. No, we, we spent couldn't. Doing this. No, we couldn't. A yep. chicken takes like five hours. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to put in the Spongebob one eternity later. One eternity later. Okay, right, so cookies are completed. So here we go. Going in the oven. Godspeed little cookies. Try not to burn myself. I should have put oven gloves on. Right, they're going to go onto there. 
We're going to do them, I think, for about eight minutes. Because it says eight to ten, but it wants them gooey in the centre. So we're going to put on one for eight minutes on timer. Yay! And then we'll test them, and if they're not good, we'll pop them back in for a couple of minutes. So, yay! <laughs> good times. Bye! Right, what's happened then? sort that out. Um, That's all right. Well, we're going to have to get them to crisp up a bit, so we're going to put them back in. <laughs> for a bit. Um, Maybe we should have done it on two trays. All good plans, all good plans. Um, well, I didn't think they were going to spread that much. In all fairness. It's a bit like me. Fucking chunky, but it's spread too thin. <laughs> I did joke about making one, <laughs> <laughs> so sort of my plan has worked. Taste nice, I don't care. It will taste fine, I think. But no one at work is getting any because they're awful. <laughs> it's fine. You can't so, see, but I'm fist pumping there, like, yeah. Yeah, well, look. More cookies for us. Uh, there's, always, there's always a silver lining to anything you do, kids. And the only real failure is not trying in the first place at all. So, it's going to be fine. And round the outside, like the ones that have spread off a little bit, they're more cookie-ish looking, which is fine. I just don't think this is a recipe that really you can cook it in eight minutes. I don't know why it told me that we could, but you know, it's fine. It's massive. <laughs> ah, really, you know what we should have done? We should have gone down to the supermarket, bought pre-made cookies, and then just put them on the, on the thing and been like, ta-da! <laughs> Oh well, never mind. Uh, I'm going to leave this segment here. So I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, what what am I going to call it? Alternative baking with Hannah and Mr Rex. <laughs> so yeah. Arriva Dirty. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, okay, so are they going to win the best looking cookies in the world? No, no they're not. But they do taste alright. <clears throat> And we've had to, like, we managed to salvage these ones, but the others have turned out square. But that's fine, because who wants to be normal? I mean, normal is the setting on a washing machine. It's not made for life, really. So, I think, you know, job well done, really. Tastes all right. They're the offcuts that we couldn't quite get on the thingy. So we're going to have that for lunch. Um, after eating, like, savoury stuff, maybe. Maybe. Well, we'll start on them, and then we might end up eating some of the other ones as well. <laughs> oh, this has been alternative baking with Hannah <laughs> great thanks for attending my TED talks that's all I can say so uh, now we've got to uh, wash up great good times make all the cookies <laughs>